Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and today we're going to check out the Log Cabin Bundle. It is really rare that we get a bundle that is absolutely nothing but camp items. I couldn't pass it up. Now, what you get in it, you'll get a log cabin, you'll get a communal fire pit, you'll get an ice box, you'll get a water wheel, and you'll get four different wallpapers. And I'm going to be honest, there's some half-decent wallpapers in that bundle right there. But how does it all look once you've got it built? Up first we're gonna check out the log cabin which I'll admit was slightly bigger than I was expecting. I, I wasn't expecting it to be massive but I was kind of expecting it to be about the size of the CD shed and it is a little bit bigger than that. Oh quick little bonus anybody looking at the floater mobile there it is pretty darn cool. Now the cabin, you get a decent amount of floor space to work with in here, as well as you can actually hop up on top of the rafters, so you can actually take advantage of that space if you know what you're doing. Now to the little ice box. Overall, not a bad looking item, and for those who don't know, it works like a refrigerator to where whatever you put in there, food-wise, is going to spoil 50% slower. So, a fairly nifty item to have for some people. Of course, it wanted me to put Berry Mintats in there, which is just awkward. I guess they won't spoil 50% slower. If you want to put a porch next to the cabin, you have to put a foundation down and then move the cabin over to it. They won't snap together. It's kind of tedious, but completely doable. As for the wallpapers... Overall, not bad. I figured the best way I could go about showing these off was to move a light around each of them. That way, we can kind of look at how it is lit up and dark at the same time. This is probably my favorite of the bunch. Well, I don't know, it's kind of a tie between that one and this one. Because those two wallpapers, I could definitely see making it in to multiple camp builds down the road. This one's probably my least favorite of the bunch. It's not a horrible wallpaper. It just doesn't fit my build style. Now let's check out the communal fire pit. And this thing is actually pretty darn cool because it has a secret ability that it doesn't tell you about until you've used one. So when you sit down at one, it'll notify you that if you sit, sit at the fire pit long enough, you'll get a special bonus and that is the well-rested bonus. So basically like sleeping in a bed. Except now you don't have to sleep in a bed, you can chill by your fire pit. Pretty darn cool. And while building, I also discovered that I could stack them. Now you can only have two of them, but still. I was like, really? Oh, you'll let me do that. Okay, I can't really do much with this right now, but good to know. Now we'll check out the water wheel. And I'll be kind of honest. I know this is settler week right now, but I look at that thing and I see raiders. All right. That completely looks like something raiders would be rocking. It might have something to do with all the chains and tires. Now, real quick, we'll go through and I'll show you what it costs to build all of this. I mean, the communal fire pit dirt cheap to craft. Let's scroll way down. There's the water wheel. Now, I want you all to know that you're not the only ones that struggle with item can't be placed. I have trouble with it too. Alright? You're not alone. Now, when you place down a water wheel, it's just going to automatically be turning one way. So, if you want it to have the illusion that the water current is what's turning it, you have to manipulate that yourself. Overall, still a kind of cool item. You can only build three of them, though. The cabin is ridiculously cheap to make. It only costs wood, even though it has a concrete foundation on it. And you can have three cabins. Overall, awesome. That is an amazing thing to have. Uh basically at lower levels on like an alternate character 
to be able to easily build them an alternate structure. This is actually the most expensive thing to build out of the entire bundle. The little ice box. The smallest item is the most expensive. Who would have thought it? But still, pretty darn useful and not ridiculously expensive given what it actually does. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the look at everything. Hopefully it, it'll help you decide if you want to buy it or not. I know a bunch of people that watch my channel are probably picking this thing up today. And real quick, let me take the porch off of here so you can see it without my porch in the way. And that's pretty much the cabin you get right there. Again, th this bundle, pretty darn good given everything in it. It's definitely one of the better bundles we've had. But that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you've enjoyed it. As usual, please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.